Hey there everyone, Katie Freiling here, and in this quick training tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to use a free program called Twitter Feed to either A, set up your Twitter account to automatically tweet out every time you publish a blog post, or B, which is what I'm going to get into today, how to use this service to automatically syndicate or tweet for people who are in your inner circle tribe. So meaning uh, other social media marketers who are in your niche, who are in the same industry, who you like, you trust, you respect, and you want to automatically tweet out every time they publish a blog post. So what this does is it saves you time and energy from having to manually do it, so it's all automated. And B, it really helps solidify a strong relationship with that person. So this can be somebody that you are looking to create a syndication partnership with, meaning that you can help share each other's blog posts to your social networks and you know everybody gets more exposure. Or B, it's somebody who you already have this sort of partnership with and you just wanna be able to set this up so it's automated. So a word of advice here is that you want to make sure you only do this for people that you know always put out consistent great value. So if you're a little bit uncertain about somebody because they do some you know promos or they pitch things then then that's not the right person for this. So this really needs to be somebody that you know like trust, respect, and you know they've got great, great content so that it is relevant and useful and valuable for your audience, for your Twitter followers, for your Facebook followers, for your list, for everybody. So please be selective with this. And if you do find that you set up an automated feed for somebody and then you're not really vibing with their posts, then you can always delete it at any time. So just make sure you don't set this up for too many people at once. I would really just pick a couple and that's it. So if you go to twitterfeed.com, you can, if you already have an account with these guys, you can sign in. If not, click sign up. So I am logged in already over here. So if you're already uh, signed up, you'll just click create new feed. Once you uh, get your account for the first time, it may just automatically direct you there. So this is kind of what the first step looks like. So I'm going to type in the feed name and I'm going to do this for Jonathan Butt. Now I already set this up for Yarrow Starek, who you actually saw on the homepage there. And uh, you know, Yarrow is an amazing blogger. He always puts out great content. My audience loves his stuff. So it's a good match. Same thing with Jonathan Budd. So I really appreciate everything that Jonathan um, shares with his community, and I'd love to support him and automatically tweet out for every post that he publishes. So step two, you can either type in the blog URL or RSS feed URL. So if I type in jonathanbud.com, let's test that and see if that works okay. Okay, so that worked. So you can either type in the RSS feed, which means that you find a little orange button at the top of people's blogs that kind of looks like this without the little bird, <laughs> but you've got the orange, uh, you know, round square with the white, uh, you know, I guess rainbow looking stripes. So, but you don't need it. You can just type in the blog URL and we're all good. So then I'm going to click on advanced settings. So from here, you're telling this program how often you want it to check for new posts. You know, I know Jonathan's not publishing new posts every 30 minutes, so I'm just going to put this down to every 24 hours it'll check. And it'll post one new update at a time. That's perfect. We don't want more than one. So for post content, I'm going to change this to description only because Twitter limits you to 140 characters. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant title only. <laughs> And uh, if you have the title and description, you usually won't have enough room. So I'm just going to leave it with the title only. Shorten link through bit.ly. That's perfect. You can leave that there. Uh, post sorting, I just leave this on pub date. Don't need to worry about it. And then I'm going to come down here to post suffix. So this means that I can type in something to end each tweet with. So I'm going to, here we go, I'm going to type in via at Jonathan Budd. This is Jonathan's Twitter name. So what this does is it gives credit to Jonathan that these are his um, posts that I'm retweeting. 
And also, this will show up on Jonathan's Twitter account so that Jonathan can see that I am a big supporter, that I am tweeting for him every time he publishes a post. So again, it just really solidifies that JV syndication partnership. I don't need to worry about the keyword filter, so let's move on to step two. Okay, so these are the available services. So you can either click Twitter or Facebook. Um, I'm just doing Twitter for now, but you can also do both if you'd like. So I'm going to authenticate using Twitter. Now I'm already logged into my Twitter account. If you're not, then it'll ask you to just sign in first, which is pretty simple. You just sign in with your Twitter username and password. I'm going to allow Twitter access, and that's it. We're good to go. So I'm going to click on Create Service. Okay, so service created successfully. All done. So now I've got it set up for Yarrow and for Jonathan. So it'll automatically tweet out for both of these guys anytime they publish a blog post. So it's as simple as that and again you can set this up for yourself too so that you don't have to tweet out your posts every time that you publish them. And uh, you know again this is really really great for building those syndication partnerships. You know the uh, syndication is really the name of the game with social media. It allows you to really uh, exponentially grow your network, to get more exposure, to be able to uh, you know join in on other people people's networks and it's really just such an amazing strategy that really works and will really help you to get more results in your business. So um, hope you liked this video today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something that you're going to try out. And uh, also too, if you got a lot of value out of it, make sure you tweet it and Facebook it and help spread the word in the social network. So thank you so much. I will talk with you again soon.